Hi, I'm Michelle Kelsey, founder of Nannies on Call. Uh, recently, we posted an ad online for an administrative position in our company, and we literally got hundreds of resumes, hundreds a day, over a hundred resumes a day, and we left the posting up for four days or so. Um, 99% of those resumes were deleted immediately for little things that you could fix right now. So what I'm going to do is give you five tips for applying with Annie's on call. That way, when you send your resume to us, you're going to know that with a little bit of care and some attention to detail, you're going to get your foot in the door and get an interview with us. So the first thing is to address it to a person. All nannies on call ads always have the person's name that you're applying to. So for the administrative position, it said Michelle Kelsey and then Michelle at nannies on call dot com. Um, so if you apply with to or dear sir, madam or dear hiring manager or um, anything like that, I'm going to delete your resume immediately because you didn't even take the time to read the job posting that we put up. Uh, so we know already that your attention to detail isn't um, very good. Um, so those emails are, those resumes are deleted immediately. So address it to the person in the job posting. A cover letter. Everyone knows you need a cover letter. If you don't send a cover letter with your resume, your your email is deleted immediately again. Um, in the cover letter, you know, make it your time to shine. Do something a little different. Um, tell us about yourself. We're not always at Nanny's on Call looking for someone with the most experience. We're looking for someone with the right attitude and the right personality. So show us that in your cover letter. It's the time that you can do that. Reference nannies on call. So in your cover letter, you should say, um, I'm really interested in working at uh, applying at nannies on call for the following reasons. Or um, instead of putting, you know, I'm applying um, with your company because I saw it on, I saw your Craigslist ad. Um, if you don't take the time to change your company, because we know you're sending it out to many companies, um, again, it shows no attention to detail, no caring. We want people who care and want to work for Nannies on Call because we're a fantastic company. Um, and if you don't care, we don't care. So we delete your email immediately. Check your spelling and your grammar. Uh, no small letters at the front of um, sentences. Uh, make sure you capitalize your I's. Put spaces between the paragraphs. Make sure your cover letter looks nicely laid out. These are all things that are important and get overlooked. All the computers have spell check now, so obviously it, sh it should be really easy to send off a perfectly um, yeah, perfect spell, spelling and grammar um, cover letter, but it's just not. So if we find spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, um, or a lack of attention to detail in terms of how it's laid out, we delete your, your resume immediately. Wow factor. Um, this is the thing 99% of the resumes are missing. You are competing in a slew of resumes these days. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're applying for a nanny position, an office position, a management position. Um, there are lots of people looking for work. So how can you stand out? Can you tell a fantastic story in your cover letter? Can you do a YouTube video? Can you... Um, do something different in terms of showing up the office. I don't know. Um, I don't want to give too many ideas because then people tend to do just those things. But what can you do to grab our attention? Um, we want to know you're 110% committed to working for Nannies on Call, just like all the other staff and everyone who works there are. So it's really important that you wow us and that will get you in the door so fast. So just to review, um, you need to put, uh, you need to address your email and cover letter to someone at the office, a specific person using their name and email address. You need to make sure you include a cover letter. You need to reference Nanny's on call in that cover letter. Uh, check your spelling and grammar. And you need to have some kind of wow factor. If you do these five things, you will get in the door at Nanny's on call um, and you will get the interview. And hopefully if you wow us enough, you will get the job. So hopefully that helped and that's just a quick insight into what we're looking for. Good luck.